It took me two hours to get that one. Hi guy Jazz, hello there. I have to look at the microphone on. Hello there. How are you doing today? LR Brawley? Can we go over this together? is trash but you got but you get like everybody you get everybody in the game you get all the cards I got oh that reminds <laughs> that reminds me I uh I need to post my stupid video I really should have did that yesterday I should have done that earlier earlier all over the place that guy sounds like Joe all arcs defenders, please prepare for deployment. oh I don't have it plugged in <laughs> The battery's plugged in. Let's keep. Attention, all arcs. That's the team I use. We're beginning a counter offensive against dolls. Appearing ultimate <laughs> strength, ultimate go on. Uh, LR go bros. Go. Go to the trunks. LR trunks. Bumblebee tuna. And that was before uh, I got her easy A. Nuker trunks. And then friend tech ultimate Gohan. And that uh, tech ultimate Gohan is actually the one that cleaned it up for me. Look at these people with their level 30s. Look at this guy. This guy used... Uh, Black, Vegito Blue, Super, Super Saiyan, 
Vegito, Easy A Rose, Tech Vegito, Black, now Rose and, and Zamas. I and then Friend. Trunks of mine. That's a good one right there. Do you do you have this Tech Khalifa? She's you remember she's the guaranteed block or dodge. I'll give those those groups a shot. I used her for uh was it Super Saiyan three Super Saiyan four uh Goku and Vegeta? Easy A. Because, you know, two guys, you're usually going to stack attacks in one spot, so I just threw her in that area. It doesn't matter how many you have, it just matters. Remember, it's, it's quality over quantity. And, and mine weren't, like, anything great. Again. Remember, I, like I said, I got strength, strength ultimate Gohan, right? There's nothing really that great about him. Free to play card. Free to play card. Nuke. This guy's, this guy's, his physical Goku and Vegeta LR is 146. His Vegeta wasn't even... Awakened. Neither is his his Gogeta, and I'm sure that's that's got to be by design if there's two of them. He's got Super Saiyan. He's got uh, transforming trunks, which I never used. Never even thought about that. Battle info. Watch out, ticks. I never. Why didn't I never? Why didn't I use him? I have that one. I have that. Trunks. 120%, I think that's why. I was like, why would I use I don't even want to do dailies anymore. Oh, it's a new weekly. Well, maybe I will then. I don't even have anything to buy with these points. They're an urgent quest. It just started. It looks like Pedisfera. Ah, I gotta, I gotta. I don't need to worry about that. I don't need to worry about no urgent quest. I got story mode. The nightmare that is story mode. Of course he is. Most of the cards I were using weren't even good. Were not good. Like I said, my Bumblebee 2 in a pan was not easy aid. I had free to play trunks. You can now accept Buster Quest from the Quest Center. I finally can do Buster Quest. Free match. And lower grade players and provide support in this quest mode, you will not be given Buster Points. That's a shame, I kind of missed everything. 
Dude, it doesn't even matter what you, uh, like that kind of scenario. I use whatever I got. Y'all come back now, you hear? I still have some time on my conch salad. What? Uh Pass with the Monica Battle. Let's go for some more Daybreak Province stuff then. Demo bot. How do I have low caught? Oh, there's no way. I didn't even really do anything. All right, let's get this started. The party's full. I don't think there's any real tactics that you need to be too concerned about. You should just be able to level up. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I would have had enough time for a fever. And all I'm getting is uh, fragments, rocks. There we go. And I'm out. Yeah, none of the events in the game are really challenging to whatever characters you're going to use. You're going to use a future saga or a... I don't even think it's target Goku. Just... I don't know. Whatever. Dismal future. Whatever those guys are a part of. What level are you still on, though, for your EZA? I mean, I know it wasn't easy to get through. Even with that team. I, th I mean, I think I got it, like, the first shot. And I'm pretty sure I recorded the stupid thing, but I never put it online because I'm terrible at doing any of that stuff. Like, I didn't even put my, uh... My sixth anniversary summons. And I found that out after doing. after uh, uploading my. <clears throat> I don't have any. any stamina for that. After doing the. Uh, Android 17 LR summons. Screenshot Studio. That's cool. Frankus Cafes. Grade one to one. They really should have upgraded the, uh,
of the weapons you're getting from them. There's no reason to you, that, that you'd even want to do these. Ah, let me just go to the bridge. Copyright claim? Who, who is copyright claiming now? I don't need to f learn more. to get audios now you're playing. Oh, freezing. Go to I think I already have that one. Dude, this one's brutal. This one's a lot of R's. I got a copyright claim from a fake old Gotenks. bot that is garbage. for the UI old Goku garbage. music on a video that's not even posted. Stop. Stop. All garbage. How is that even allowed? At most disappointment. So at least Bardock's new. But everything else, pure garbage. That pisses me off. But I was just gonna post it afterwards. That is such bullshit. set this stupid thing up to render without that music. So dumb. So dumb. Hurry it up, hurry it up. Yeah, this program takes forever now. If you're ready, then start. Ugh. Drive is full. Yeah, I know that. Jeez, it is so stupid. It angry, angry cowbell. It's a shame that the black hole isn't in front of us. That would make sense. <laughs> how are you doing? I wonder how big these ships are. <laughs> how are you doing? Only Matoy communicates. I mean, the dome is has like a whole city in it. 
Oh my god! Oh my god! I just remembered I didn't actually save it. <laughs> That's okay. There wasn't any actual... Uh... Oh, okay, look, I did save it. Gonna use, uh... PSO music because I can't because it's Sega and I know Sega has no problem with it. I'll do a summon here. I don't even know why 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 I did the music for. Up. Well, you posted it, uh, and I come for that project. <laughs> Let's see here. I need to put a text. So damn stupid. Oh my god. Oh my god. Can you just stop freaking out? How many other summon videos do I have up that have the UI Goku theme? I swear. They probably have a... Copyright thing too now.
offline material. I'm not using offline material. This is exciting at all. Yeah, look at that. I haven't got a content uh, copyright claim since my Sakura Memories AC Scratch Showcase in September. Dante's Inferno. That was a stupid one. That was from last year. Two years ago. I remember, I remember getting that one from the, the Dokkan now. I got a copyright claim from Fresh Prince of Bel Air. <laughs> That's hilarious. Because I edited it. I made a meme out of it. All right. Hello there. Hello there. All right. Goodbye. Ah, there's a little map. Sweet. Little tiny map. Ah, uh, Guardian. Thank you for your earlier assistance. Runa Lashik. Wento Revolutionary Army. Most grateful to you for saving Lady Harriet. It's not you I'm frustrated with. It's my own weakness. The only reason I couldn't assist Lady Harriet back there was because I was too feeble. I'm supposed to be Lady Harriet's adjutant. If I don't only know. I were as strong as you, Guardian, she might be more willing to lean on me. And we've heard very little about its side effects so far. Is everyone really okay with not using ephemera at all in light of that? No matter how fiercely we lament our weakness, none of us would dare to use ephemera. There could be no greater betrayal of Lady Harriet's wishes. <laughs> More for me then. It's the world, and it would be folly to say that no one questions that claim. But Lady Harriet strives for all our sakes. That much is undeniable. When she instigated this uprising to strike down Prime Minister Lutz, a man obsessed with personal gain, she did so purely for the people. She devotes herself tirelessly to the cause of righteousness, no matter how much harm it does to her mind and body. I... No. All of us have found a purpose for ourselves in supporting Lady Harriet in her quest. Guardian. I am truly grateful to you for rescuing her. Ah, don't worry about it. But I am her adjutant. I'll be the one to protect her. And I'll protect you then. Now, <laughs> if you'll excuse me. Talk about transparent. He's head over heels for Harriet. That was pretty educational too. Everyone's more enthused about Harriet than about eliminating ephemera. From what he's saying. S simping? <laughs> Dashing handsome, though. He must have grown up from an upstanding family with cultured siblings and all that. I guess not all of us can be, uh. The hell? Oh. I was like, I don't get text messages, especially not right now. But I do when it has to deal with my insurance. Oh God, Discord! I'm 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 branching off here. Discord is I just opened up Discord and others. Threads. 
What a way to get lost. It's already hard to keep up with conversations when stuff is moving. Gonna comment to Zira about the fact that, uh, you know, she's she's only been alive for like two years. So, of course, she's... Uh, and all about, hey... Envious. What did it say? <laughs> Who's appearing? It's fine. It's fine. There's nothing to be afraid of. Nothing at all. I've lost my body and life once already. It exists as an offering to the people. It exists to be with them. So don't be afraid, Harriet. It's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> What in the hell did I I'm miss? I'm so sorry. You caught me at a most embarrassing moment, didn't you? I thought she looked familiar. She has uh, Shiva's hairstyle. desire to bring it to a swift thus i must always keep that fear close to my heart so that i do not act recklessly but please don't tell anyone you saw me lose my composure ever the people would worry composure Right. This continent is divided into four cardinal nations. This is the southern nation. Here lies the domain of Quento, a land of nature and magic. I am the second child of the late king of Quento. In the sense that I am royalty, yes, you are welcome to see me as one. But it is precisely because I am royalty that I must, on occasion, take up arms and fight. Hello, Rita. Prime Minister Lux was drunk on the power and prosperity brought about drunk. by Ephemera when he launched his coup. Because of that, my father lost his life, and we were banished from the kingdom. Now Lutz calls himself king, Lutz. and he forces the people to bear greater burdens than ever in the name of augmenting his forces. As members of the royal family, it falls to us to put an end to Lutz's tyranny. I 
cannot allow our land to become intoxicated by power and plunge headlong into a foolhardy war. I would like you to meet someone so that we might discuss what comes next. I have a bad feeling about this. Seven I would like you to meet someone. The invitation Harriet extended to the Guardian led them on a journey to a city in southern Quento. It Not was a location <laughs> that was far removed from the events in the royal capital. The the icons are animated. It was a remote little burg, unaffected by the fighting. It offered no sign at all of nearby conflict. Ah, look at that! Ah, Lady Harriet! Welcome Poor Lee fellow. We were all so frightened when we heard you'd come under attack. I'm so glad you're safe. Oh, you must be tired, Lady Harriet. I I'll prepare rooms for you, Mr. Varuna, and your entourage. <laughs> and whatever the hell that is next to behind you. But rest assured, there is no need to be concerned. These people have kept me quite safe. I must show my guests in. Please, as you were. Don't mind me. <laughs> nice stone walls, but dirt. Dirt ground. My apologies for all of the commotion. We are currently bound for the Quinto Revolutionary Army Headquarters. There's an awful lot of people here for a revolutionary army. They are all people who could not bear the tyranny of the current pretender, Prime Minister Lutz. Lutz. Prime Minister Lutz's Lutz. highest priorities are the collection of ephemera and the summoning of Castrum Demonicus using it. Lutz. Castrum Demonicus are summoned without regard to where people live. One after another, it's becoming increasingly erratic. Lutz. Enslavement by technology is a pox upon the world. I am certain that Ephemera is no different in that regard. The one I'd like you to meet is just inside. I don't think I want to. There's too much buildup. Coming in. He's got a sack of stuff. You know, normally you wait for someone to bid you enter before barging in. You defeat the purpose of knocking otherwise. If I awaited your reply, brother, the whole day would be wasted. I don't like the sound of his voice. I don't like the look of his hair. <laughs> how many other sunsets have there been besides? <gasps> I know that voice. Oh? Did you bring guests? <laughs> Does that mean our time of reckoning is finally at hand? Hal, what are you doing here? I guess that's my only option. <laughs> is this our Luther? indeed my name who are you to utter it so disrespectfully few people would react so strongly to my name and face few except minions of lots but that is you are mistaken luther this person saved me when i was being chased you simply accept that, Harriet. Couldn't there be a ploy on their part? To have you lead them right to our hideout. Luther! Yes, yes, calm yourself. It's unbecoming for an heir to the throne to raise her voice so. The same could be said of you, Luther. I was stripped of my right to exceed, remember? Which leaves me with that much more liberty in terms of my thoughts, my deeds. And my <laughs> I'm not going to be king, so I get to be a dick. Oh, I get it. That is what Alma was 
was talking about. The universe's memories are all jumbled up. Since this is the Akashic Record stream, anything is fair game. But still, I wasn't expecting Harriet's brother to be Luther of all people. <laughs> there's crazy, and then there's crazy. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Just as the legend foretold. As for you, uh, of course, you must be the otherworldly visitor spoken of in the self same legend. Eh. You can tell that? I stand at the forefront of sorcery research. One look at your mana flow makes it clear you're not of this world. Besides, this is a land where summoning is a reality. I was the one to discover their mechanism. It would be irrational indeed if I refused to believe in the existence of other worlds. I must say, though, I'm impressed that you speak our language in that form and fly through the air. The little fairy. Legend or no, it's quite fascinating. How would you like to be a research subject? Jeez, the more things change, the more they stay the same. Hey, whoa, help me! <laughs> I was quite serious, actually, and oh dear, I can <laughs> daggers at me. Right then, back on topic. Allow me to delve into the origin of our war and the state of our nation. All right. It all started with this flower, Ephemera. Who named it that? You've already heard about what it does, I trust. Using Ephemera as a catalyst makes works of sorcery far more potent than they would be otherwise. This enabled the working of sorcerous miracles that would never have otherwise been possible under mundane limitations. Such strange flowers. They sprout up the world over, leaving no seeds. When their petals scatter, they fade away like morning fog. Some characterize them as gifts from on high, but in truth, they are quite the opposite. More of a deal with the devil, really. To wit, really? ephemera are demonic flowers that slowly erode the minds of those who use them, gradually driving the world mad. What... what do you mean by... Exactly what I said, fairy. fairy. As one absorbs the mana given off by ephemera, their mind becomes increasingly eroded. It progresses slowly, unnoticeably, until finally, the user is no longer capable of distinguishing between sanity and madness. madness? Then, they accept only those who are similarly afflicted. They cultivate an inescapable obsession with eliminating all others. Prime Minister Lutz is one Lutz. such victim. He killed the king and usurped the throne. And you see what he is doing now. This sounds an awful lot like F-Factor corruption. If the profound darkness is behind the rise of this ephemera, that would explain a lot. If continual use of ephemera results in people's minds being eroded, that's a huge threat. But how did you figure that out? Oh, well... I was the one who devised the Castrum Demonica Conjuration. I've allowed countless people to die after being driven mad by it. <laughs> but that's not fair. You're just working to advance the field of sorcery. You never meant to. Man. Excuses are cheap, Harriet. I've sacrificed many on the altar of my research. I am aware of my crimes and why my right to succession was stripped away. Stripped. And now, the very world is being eroded as a result of my research. That's a fact, plain and simple. If it 
did, I certainly wouldn't be here right now. This what? Oh, damn it! You are the one who created the cast of the Monica. Stupid controller. But you are also the one who crafted the Buster Tower conjuration to destroy it. Yes, and we've seen what that's gotten me. A spot right at the top of Lutz's hit list. Lutz. Collusion with enemy nations on the use of Castrum Demonicas, larceny, insurgent R&D. The list of trumped-up charges goes on, I'm sure. Ephemera was first discovered decades before we were even born. Its effects were tremendous, but nothing world-changing. It was the Castrum Demonica Conjuration that Luther discovered, which changed the face of war in our world. Wonderful. Every country summons Castrum Demonicas to their borders and has staring contests with their neighbors, never directly attacking. With no invasions, wars stay contained, and needless bloodshed is averted. By all appearances, it leads to a world at peace. Perhaps if one takes this at face value, the leaking of Castrum Demonica technology to other nations wasn't in vain. But that's only on the surface. It's merely one step on a slow path toward destruction. Because Ephemera drives people mad? Madness! Yes. The Castrum Demonicas consume Ephemera and scatter its corruption far and wide. They must ensure that they are destroyed. That is why I devised the Buster Tower. To be a counter conjuration capable of destroying the Castrum Demonica's Arx Demonica. But handling one requires a large amount of mana. And more to the point, zero ephemera. It's beyond any layperson's ability to handle. Neither Harriet nor I had the aptitude. Yet, you mastered it. Not I had to do a stand there. But you breached the Arx Demonica and destroyed the Castrum Demonica. What's more, you've even managed to replicate the Buster Tower summons through your own arts. And you can manage several simultaneously. I do what I can. If that doesn't qualify someone to be the savior, what does? Did you get LR Jiren? They bloom by chance. Conveniently happening to be a catalyst that improves summons. Coincidences that sweet simply don't exist. Don't They're exist. evil entities that distort the world and incite madness, madness with every use. They must be driven extinct. The sooner, the better. Luther. Luther. sensible about this mm. ephemera the flower that distorts the world the flower that your photons disintegrate we've tested it before and these are crystallized f factors for all intents and purposes they're part of the profound darkness it makes sense the profound darkness looks like one of those giant uh it's like a big ball of cotton It's really important to talk to people. Shiva, goddess of annihilation, has been defeated. How is it? And all because we were united as one. I got twelve hundred. I'm not sure who to get. I only got like I think I got like three hundred and fifty gold coins, so I'm short on that front. I still can't believe we encountered Luther that way. Calling it the Akashic Records dream is a good way to put it. It's even more chaotic than I imagined. Dreams are always kind of random. 
Are they now? Are uh, they now? I bet it's only going to get more nutty from here. More nutty. Alma, is it just me? Or are you eating this whole thing up? Well, she's kind of been invisible for a good long while. Sorry, I'm not honest. I actually feel pressed to do something about it. It's just been so long since I've spoken with other people that I can't help but make the most of it. <laughs> She's you a ghost. You were with the Akashic Records, right? What were you doing after Shion was gone? Nothing. I was just together with the Akashic Records. I was alone, watching the records of the universe file themselves away. I was content with that. But I guess when I start talking, it makes me want more. Interpersonal connection is really important um alma you can always chat with me i mean when you have the time really Sierra? he always has the time i thought you were super busy a little's not gonna kill me being a sounding board is part of my job description <laughs> right robot i hear you <laughs> Okay, Sierra. I'm sure we can find plenty to talk about. Sure. Sure. Let's. The irate premiere. Chapter one, two. Could we just like chop this all together into an episode? Can I watch this in like a, like a like an animated form? Princess Harriet lives and is now working side by side with the savior of legend. Rumors of their cooperation have spread throughout the realm like wildfire. Crap. The people held the belief that if the legendary hero, who had come to save the world in its darkest hour, supported her, then her cause must be just. Crap. The revolutionary army's numbers swelled. But rarely did the slightest hint of a smile grace the faces of their leaders, Harriet and Luther. Now, if only there was like, go here and attack these points. You know, gameplay. Yes, I agree. We have one remaining concern, though. Elise, the Sword Maiden. The sword who now? She is a figure from legend, much like the Guardian. However, she comes from historic fact rather than folklore. Mm. Before the advent of conjurations and ephemera, this realm was once under the dominion. The hero oh my God. The slew the dragon after a long battle, built a castle atop its room. That is it's still a little way. was founded. And then see how long there is no talking right here. They could have easily have stretched out all. So sort of cut the end. Look at that. There's. That is so so disappointing. So upsetting. Wow. Does that mean your family is descended from the hero? No. We are descendants of her companions. The hero's line is passed down through her sword and her ancient power. They have no political sway. The hero's line. Alice the Sword Maiden. While she has no stake in the political will of our lord, her existence remains a threat. How so? You just said she wouldn't meddle in governmental affairs. High-minded or no, it's a flesh and blood person who carries the sword. And not everything is cut and dry. Cut and dry, cut and dry. Quento Castle, the throne room. There's another castle right next to it. Former Prime Minister Lutz listened impatiently to his officers' reports, languishing upon the throne. Let's. Throne room. Let's. 
How do you explain this state of affairs? I believe I ordered you to suppress the rebel army. Luther and Harriet yet live. And not only that, but our Castrum Demonicas are being destroyed the realm over. The realm over. What is the meaning of this? The Castrum Demonica is indestructible, but only so long as its Arx Demonica remains standing, sire. Should a means be devised of breaking the barrier, destruction is not out of the question. Excuses! I demand action! You think you would question why he's getting broken so easily? Compose yourself, Uncle. Uncle. Alice Landell. How can you expect me to be composed when our Castrum Demonicas are falling left and right? Princess Harriet's side has the power to destroy Castrum Demonicas, and they travel with the entity known as the Guardian. Me! They are also backed by the royal bloodline. You control the kingdom, objectively speaking, but theirs is the side with just cause. Just whose side are you on, Alice? <laughs> I merely state the, the best. truth as sword maiden. I believe that a parlay would be in the best interest of our nation and its people. Never. The royal line tried to doom the land. There can be no peace with them. Uncle, did the former king truly seek to doom the land? They've been using those, uh... In the fight yesterday, those guys were used to... Well, it was just basically them. It was those soldiers, because they all had the same armor. And then some sorcerers with some big hats. Big old hats. They were able to all conjure stuff up. How can you even ask? Because they only have one style of armor. Are absolutely vital to our land's continued survival in the world. World! To publicly renounce them would doom us all. Doom. The nation would fall and be erased from history. The legend and sword you protected would be gone with it. Isn't that right? Alice, the sword. Alice. Alice was from uh, the original Fantasy Star Online. From. I'm going to just throw out a number 1984. Original Fantasy Star Online. Original Fantasy Star. Eighty-seven. That was a little off. Yes. A herstory. <laughs> Medea's history. Without the Castrum Demonicas, we could not maintain our borders in this world. What my uncle claims is accurate. Someone's pissed. So why was the king so set upon renouncing them and eliminating Ephemera, even knowing that? <laughs> Who's he arguing with over there? Them in person. <laughs> Who's he arguing with back there? I told you I wanted my cookies with strawberry milk. Strawberry milk. The official claim was that the former king was struck down for attempting to cast away his nation's sovereignty. According to this version of events, his public policy was too harmful to be endured. Sword Maiden Elise accepted those claims without question. She had read the royally stamped edicts for herself, after all, and put in the effort necessary to assure that they matched the Prime Minister's claims. However, something felt as though it was amiss. What reason could a benevolent king possibly have for being so forceful about the need to expunge Ephemera and the Castrum Demonicus? The Sword Maiden who carried on the legend had a duty to maintain an accurate grasp of history. Elise took that duty seriously. 
You know, because of this map that they're showing, I need a Total War version of, of, of Fantasy Star. Harriet's group was surprised, but they welcomed her nonetheless. By the way, that noise. That's my controller. <laughs> it is an honor to be visited by Elise, the sword maiden. Please, there is no need to bow. Wow. My line carries on a sword and legend, and we have no political affiliation. But Lutz is your uncle. Lutz. Surely you hold sympathy for one related to you by blood. By that logic, my bond to the two of you is thicker than blood. We can all trace our lineage back to the legend after all. She's got you there, Luther, you big jerk. And what are you here to discuss? The Castrum de Monica. No, the Ephemera. I am here to learn the truth of them. What do you get out of seeing through your enemy's eyes? Your uncle is at distinct odds with us. The Castrum de Monicas are my uncle's prized possession. Should they fall, Which then the outcome made. of this war is clear to me. To which side should I devote my blade and strength? Who is worthy of my faith? That is what I wish to ascertain. Ascertain. Ephemera permeates the minds of those who use it. It amplifies violent urges and drives them to eliminate those who have not been afflicted. I must, I must be chock full of ephemera. I learned this while developing the castrums and presented my findings to the king, who issued a policy on the spot prohibiting ephemera. The prime minister and his allies disagreed most violently. They assassinated the king, blaming we royal siblings, and usurped the throne. Maybe you should have cooled a little instead of getting your dad killed. Am I to believe that in the absence of evidence? You must have seen the evidence for yourself by now. Aren't you Prime Minister Lutz's niece? Lutz. Are you suggesting that my uncle has already succumbed to this ephemera phenomenon? The Prime Minister we knew was a kind-hearted man who always put the nation and its people first. Father had absolute faith in him. Lutz also took point personally in preparing Castrum Demonicas in the interest of national defense. He summoned more of them than anyone, which in turn has exposed him to the negative effects of ephemera. He builds Castrum Demonicas across the land for the good of the nation and its people. We, the royals, destroy them for the good of the world. The irony is not lost on me, I assure you. Lutz. Luther. Luther. That's the long and short of our pitch, as it were. What you believe is up to you. But something tells me the decision has been made for you already. What do you... Lady Harriet, report... Aruna. We have a massive conjuration reading on the plane <laughs> Donkey. of our camp. It's a Castrum Demonica summons. What? But there are no military forces I Oops. imagined he assembled some forces while you were making contact with us to exploit the Sword Maiden. Nay, one's own niece as a pawn. You truly have lost yourself to madness, Lutz. Lutz. Uncle! Uncle. Ooh! Buster story quest. Usually one set up as a uh, ah, map movement. Set up as a sub quest. My uncle has always been a wise and kind man. He treated me well even before I inherited the role of maiden. I've always looked up to him greatly. My niece always looks up to me, but that's because I'm like a foot taller than her. I have accepted everything he told me at face value. What was I about to pen in this nation's history? Because I'm a floating head. 
celebration of our nation's founding legend. Lady Elise. The sword and strength I inherit exist to slay the Crimson Fellworm. They must not be used to other ends. I think I missed that portion of the conversation because I pushed buttons too fast. Perhaps those have simply been an excuse for me to avert my eyes from reality. Lady Harriet, Mr. Luther. Mr. Luther. Legendary savior, <laughs> guardian. It's like in, in, in Sonic X where, where Cream calls everybody Mr. Mr. Sonic, Mr. Shadow. Let us work <laughs> Mr. To Luther. Mr. Luther. Yo, it's my first name, right? Parlay isn't possible. Then we must at least curtail any further madness. Do you understand what your words entail, Sword Maiden? I mean, his last name was Ray's Quintos. Mr. Ray Quintos. I am resolute. My uncle took the life of the king. Then I expect you to see this through to the end, O oh legendary warrior. Oh. And if what we do turns out to be wrong, then by all means, turn your might and blade upon us. You have no chance against me, child. You needn't so much as speak the words. Look, now there's sub story. And now there's monster. How am I supposed to do the, <laughs> the main quest? this one what's this one I missed like three balloons because my controller was the buttons in the back oh god when I do that, it, it just skips to the choices. There's no choices. Ah, uh, forget it. Oh, there you go. No. Forget it. <laughs> I thought I'd be able to skip them, but I forgot. I forgot that there's portions where they have to speak, and then portions where I'm, I, I have to push the button. Which doesn't make any sense. The revolutionary army led by Harriet bore down on the royal capital and laid waste to the Castrum Demonica. Their unbreakable momentum and their inexorable march led them to the outskirts of the royal capital where Lutz resided. A cold stone castle stood behind the walls. Harriet gazed up at it quietly, remembering her days there. Days. Quinto Royal Castle. It brings back so many memories. And Lutz is there now. Lutz. Reports we're getting claim that he's condemned the followers who have remained with him to forced conjuration labor. He's a fool of a king. He's let the Castrum Demonicas and the Ephemera blind him to his own methods and purpose. Salvation for him will be difficult indeed. Never did I expect to lay eyes upon someone even more condemned than I. Let us go. We must put an end to this. Curses, curses, curses! What's wrong with seeking power and resources? It's all for the good of the nation. My hand is forced. I shall summon a Castrum Demonica in this place and crush this rebellion personally. Personally. Yes, justice is on my side. Using a legend to stir the people and sow chaos in the royal family is a crime. There can be no more room for compromise. I don't care if you are a savior. Who needs one? As long as we have ephemera. Yes, the legend is but a relic. With this, O oh people, O oh world, bear witness to the revision of myth itself.
Look at that. Stop, stop getting, they keep giving me story parts. Like I should have got, I should have done this one before moving on. What the hell? They're missing, they're missing up with the whole storyline. It's better than you, person. Greetings. My name is Elise, and I have been appointed the Sword Maiden of this era. It's a tremendous honor to meet a figure from the <laughs> legend in person. But um, not too many people have four pairs of glasses. Legend, Elise? I come more from tradition than legend. In every generation, the Sword Maiden's blade and strength is passed on solely to a chosen one. Her blade and strength, huh? What the hell are those things back there? Couldn't you save the world? I don't know about that. I've never considered comparing my strength to that of others. I'm out of water. That's not good. My strength exists for one thing and one thing only. My power is meant to be used to slay the Crimson Fellworm when it returns to life one day. My sword and the power I have inherited do not manifest except against the Fellworm. That is the nature of the legend. Huh. It is an outdated legend, fraught with burdens of obligation. Yet, I cannot make light of it. I cannot be separated from our unbroken history. As the nation tilts this way and that, my blood relatives fall like so many flies before my very eyes. Yet, I still cannot wield my strength. I can only imagine how painful that must be. So she's just a regular old Jagger, like everyone else. But it is my duty. I am the last line of defense against the inevitable return of the Fellworm. No matter how painful or miserable it may be at times, I have never once resented it. That's how beings of legend operate, isn't it, Guardian? Eh. I'm kind of here and there. Photon Sphere times three. I don't even know what I do with those anymore. Let's go do this one first. I didn't go to the Alliance, apparently. I like how even though I am I was there, you know, I'm back on the Gateway ship. I was like, alright, let's go. I mean, we're here in Omega, but let's go back into our own universe. Get on the Gateway ship for supplies, of course. And then we'll go back into Omega, which is a black hole, which is a planet in a black hole. And every time I gotta go through that black hole to get to that planet, I need to use Matoy and Alma to stop time How are you doing? so I can get in there. Hey, it's older brother is Luther. Of all people! God, well, that's, all, that's only an Omega thing. In real life, Luther didn't have a little sister. I can help but wonder if Harriet is somehow related to our Luther. But that's impossible, right? I mean, if Luther's her older brother... Oh, I don't want to even entertain the idea. Hello there. Luther? Nope. Nothing but awful memories when it comes to him. He fiddled with her is what she said in her own words. I think... I believe he got his time stop ability from her. I can't tell how you... I can't tell you how annoying it is not to be able to completely ignore him. Since he's kind of my own link to this world. I bet you he's got the same twisted silver tongue. He's like the Loki of that world. What state he's in. 
So be careful. Have to get it's sucked fine. in. Hello there. Ciao. It's strange enough for that world to exist in the first place, let alone Luther to be there. Anyone, anything could turn up there. Nothing could shock me about it. We really have time to stand. Already no counterparts. Story quest. Am I even going to be able to do this because I'm by myself? You're accepting Buster story quest story. Okay. Level 20. Alright. I got worried because it says 8 up there. So I should be able to just plow through it. Increase your max photon ability. Total party of one members will be. The is about to begin. We've confirmed deployment of the Arcs Demonica and anticipate a fierce battle. Her Summon Buster Rams. Destroy barriers and destroy the Castrum Demonica upon interception. I believe that this is. Luck. I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. This would be very more useful as a uh, easier, probably much more easier as a ranger. They already have all the platforms set up. so far. Enemy forces attacking. Defend the Buster Towers. Oh. Of course I turned my controller off. I hate how long that thing takes to just like pop up the flower already. Or you die. Why does it take so long? I mean, I feel like I could have probably did it faster on my own. Where the hell this thing come from? I'm not gonna make it! <laughs> oh my god! Just barely.
Oh my god! I freaking stopped on that little goblin instead of going right to him. Never have I been so disappointed that I can't travel through something. Come on. That's so freaking weak! Right when I used my attack. He jumped backwards. Oh, there's a sword right here. Move! What the hell is wrong with this thing? God, I hate these guys. I mean, to do just so little damage on them. Yeah. yeah, I'm working on it. Oh, what the hell? No, I can't.
All the directions I went weren't open. Jeez, what a pain! What a pain! Victory for us. <laughs> He's still doing his attack. I'm so glad my mag decided to fire off now. I mean, there's nothing else I can do to overturn. <laughs> oh, jeez. See, because it was a, a a a grade one challenge. Okay, do it again. I don't even think it would be easier if I did it with his, uh... Because apparently, the Guardian's weapon is supposed to be a double saber. Because that's what Persona used. That's what he has in in the, uh... Cutscenes. But the double saber doesn't have a good travel... The battle photon for the art. Demonica is about to begin! We've confirmed deployment of the Arx Demonica and Arx. anticipate a fierce battle! Summon Buster Rams! Destroy barriers and destroy the Castrum Demonica upon interception. Good luck. I'll keep my fingers crossed. For I think you. in the cutscene it showed that he basically clears out like ten of these. Can you imagine if you had to do ten over and over again when nobody else is doing story mode? So nobody else is doing these along with you. I thought it went the smaller one. Every troop burst. I really like how they upgraded it so I don't have to, you know, push collect, push A, push B, whatever it was. It just automatically clicked. Now let's leave all the hard work to one guy. Oh good, they got course. <laughs> Jerks. Oh. 
<laughs> He's really charging up his throwing arm. We got one teleporter. Oh my god, that stupid shot. <laughs> I like how even though they're not doing really any damage, the fact that they can just knock me over is hilarious. You'd think that they would say something about the fact that they have a freaking photon core on them. Come on. I almost got him! I almost did just a small, teeny bit of help. Just a tiny, tiny bit. <sighs> I hate when the merciless throw doesn't connect. I only luck out because he's got a freaking core on him. Again. Oh, he knocked me off. What if I use Hunter's physique? Okay. This takes way too damn long.
I'm gonna say, like, the freaking guns can't shoot those towers. They're right in front. Best job in the game. The teleporter's not there anymore. Why even put a teleporter if you're just going to take it away from me? Big old fist. I don't remember what this. I wonder if this slows down like their that charge up attack. counter. I think he gives me all the time in the world to get up into his arm. I don't think you can get a lower score than two. C. A! I don't believe you. Lutz managed to summon a Castrum Demonica to protect the royal capital. But... To no avail, the Guardian struck it down. But Lutz refused to admit defeat. Lutz. He fled into Coento Castle. Coento. Harriet's group pursued Lutz to put an end to the revolution. The setting? Coento Castle. Coento. The throne room. Here, the war ravaging the nation was to finally meet its end. <laughs> this cannot be. He doesn't have escape. It, it can't. It can't. This can't possibly be right. The Castrum Demonica, the power of Ephemera, defeated at the hands of man. Man. <laughs> man flesh. Let's. You have nowhere Let's. left to run. I'm not done. Once I destroy you all, my grip on the throne will be ironclad! Well, we have a fairy. Such destructive power! Is this too the power of Ephemera? So the, the crumbling pieces of the castle are flashing in and out. What the hell? Even as a mere catalyst, this is what it's capable of. Now you see why our nations are all so interested in studying it. This is no time to gloat! Oh good, he cleared the door. Damn this cursed flower! 
Be ephemera. Oh, I thought she cut his hand off. Harriet! Let's not get violent with my sisters now. Sisters. I fought for the nation. Why do you oppose me? Harriet! Luther! For the nation? Now there's a poor jest. In what way have your deeds served the people? The nation and its people have no desire for war. That is why the savior of legend, the guardian, sided with us. I think why is the camera on me? <laughs> Uncle. Alice, of course. You can smite these fools and bring peace to the land. Actually, she can't, because I'm not a fellow. I cannot do. My sword and might have no place within this conflict. <laughs> She's just allowed to be anywhere and watch all Even the things happen. Alice, the sword maiden betrays me. Have you forgotten all I've done for you? Yes. Please, Uncle, surrender. Your cause is not a just one. But mistakes can be rectified. Ply your skills for the good of the people and join hands with us once more. Join hands? For the good of the people? You delude yourself, Sword Maiden. Uncle! Our power and intelligence serve one purpose and one alone. They exist. Is he the fell Offerings to the land and the world. That is what ephemera is for. Triggering a runaway mana reaction? How stupid can a man be? Well, so much for wanting to take a picture in the castle later. To teleport. Sword, legend, I call upon you now. Fleeting wings, I bid thee. Come <laughs> forth. So she can use her powers. Oh, that's not what I was expecting at all. Outside the castle. She can use her her powers to to kill a fellworm and open the door. Instantaneous teleportation. I thought there was no such sorcery. There is but one method. The sword maiden calls upon the legend to work an ancient miracle. I wasn't certain that would work, but the sword answered my call. We are quite far from the castle. Did you notice that? or anything not even arcs technology can pull off an instant no prep teleportation maybe it's something along the same lines as the magic that alma uses <gasps> the castle his delusions of grandeur were his downfall the throne lutz so Lutz's. desperately craved Will be his tomb. Tomb. I'm still in chapter one. How many goddamn chapters are there? <laughs> I'm never gonna finish this in time. What? What is it that I miss? What am I not gonna get? Okay, maybe maybe people started playing, you know, 
Fantasy Star Online for the first time because of NGS. And like, hey, there's a story quest clear campaign, which is like, okay, great, that's great, that's great. But it's from the 21st to the... Oh, they extended it. Oh, thank God, they extended it till August. 31st! That's a possibility. Let's see here. A little Shiva head mount, two weapon camos that I don't really care about. I don't really. I guess a Shiva head mount and the SG ticket. That makes me feel a, a whole lot better, because then that means tomorrow it's gonna be uh, Halo Infinite beta testing. Any sign of Lutz? Lutz. None that we could find, ma'am. Ma'am. It's safe to assume he was caught up in the collapse. Lutz. I see. Elise. I am fine. I was ready for this. My uncle's madness was plain to see in his final moments. He was a smoke screen. Huh? <laughs> it seemed to me not the real one was being controlled by a far greater will. What will would that be, Luther? I can't be certain just yet, but the savior wouldn't appear for a mere dispute over the throne. You're talking about me? I just up here, whatever. This problem spans beyond our nation. Disaster looms over the whole world. Wouldn't you agree, Guardian? I am disaster. Quento Castle and its pretender king were no more. In light of this, Harriet's first act was to proclaim that the capital would be relocated. With the royal capital in chaos following the castle's collapse, she established a provisional capital in a neighboring fortress city. <laughs> well, didn't that just happen to As work out fine? about the process of relocating, one issue remained unresolved. The lack of a royal heir. Me! There was only I'll make you one. <laughs> and she continually refused to accept it. It's too soon for me to take the throne. Please, Luther, take my place. She, she changed her outfit. Well, she's not fighting anymore. This is your job. For one thing, my claim to the throne was stripped away. A fact that is very much public knowledge. To deny the people an heir would be to disappoint them in their hour of need. Harriet, it is your duty to bear the weight of the crown. Must I? Really? That is most reassuring to hear from you, Guardian. No way! No way you put Luther in that, in that, in that spot. You're two years old and you're in charge of the ship. There is no such thing as too soon or too late in matters of royal succession. Suitability is all that matters. Ease Artia to the east as a young child as their head of state and national symbol. <laughs> I'll kill him! Epic to the west as a divine queen 
who acceded to the throne at 17. No older than you, age is irrelevant. What matters is whether the would-be ruler has the resolve to devote themselves to their country. Oh my god. Is, is Epic's queen the apprentice and is Isardia the, the, the twins? I have no such resolve. That's why I erred so grievously in my self-righteous research, and why I was stripped of my claim to the throne. But you, Harriet, you have that resolve, my sister. My sister. Luther. Guardian. Very well. In the name of my royal line, I, Harriet Renata Reina Cuento, do hereby humbly accede to the throne. Guardian. Hey, it's me. I beseech you. Illuminate our way and support us in our hour of need. I gotta get back to the ship. I got like five other mags and I need to let my auxiliary out to use the restroom. Where am I at? I got 12 minutes. I have a status report about the Quinto Royal Army. They are transitioning peacefully to the new regime. Some forces have left the military to become mercenaries or bandits. All right. But not in any large numbers. However, there are still Castrum Demonicas in the land. They will persist even if their summoners perish. They are not weapons that will simply fade away. We must continue destroying them. We? I'm pretty sure you mean me. I hate to place this burden okay. on you, Guardian. <laughs> Please aid us in this. If only it were in my power to control a buster tower, I would gladly assist. Nah, it's okay. We're searching for more people capable of using Buster Towers, but so far we have no prospects. Surprising no one, I'm sure. Alice? Castrum Demonicas are born from the use of Ephemera. Destroying them requires power on the same level. Mana! You said it requires mana! Can't the use Guardian Ephemera. To activate a Buster Tower without Ephemera shows their power is easily on par with that of Ephemera. Hmm. I'm not sure I care for your tone. Maintain low tones. Maintain low tones. I meant nothing by it. I was simply stating the truth. If the truth bothers you, perhaps there's something weighing on your conscience. Deflecting, don't you? How about a simple thank you for once? He's gonna pull your wings again. I think the fact that I don't even remotely question your background would show gratitude aplenty. Is that not enough for you? Oh, forget it. <laughs> In addition, we've been investigating it's all just followers pile up their intentions, but so far we haven't come up with many red flags. Let's... In fact, most of them seem grateful you've ascended to the throne, Lady Harriet. My Suspicious. Uncle held things to his own personal standards, and often made unreasonable demands. He was already getting backlash as it was. Does that mean everyone's going to be happy with Harriet's revolution? No. I doubt things will go so smoothly. In a struggle for the throne, one must follow the victor. At least, on the surface. Cuento isn't a monolithic entity. There are others besides Lutz who Lutz. extol the virtues of Ephemera. I'm sure such people will pay lip service to our ideals, while <laughs> secretly lip awaiting service. an opportunity to strike and Kind overthrow words. the royal family. Which is why we must never let ourselves be seen as vulnerable. How about, now just hear me out here, just hear me out here, because I'm the guardian, I'm on your side, how about I just go outside? Do a photon blast. Report. Keep up the good work. Try to 100.
I feel like I really should change my character back to uh, Hunter Tekker. It's not a good, it's not actually a viable solution. Tekker Hunter is makes more sense, but I wanted to keep it a story-wise progression as Hunter. But I just like, which it used to be Hunter Tekker, to be able to do uh, uh, techniques. around this humble place this person. mind your manners i think you meant to say your majesty oh yeah your hairy <laughs> majesty right. lady harriet is our ruler now what did i just say off with his head <laughs> i'm still just barely getting on my feet as a ruler so feel free to keep calling me harriet mm. lady harriet children lady It's about 12 inches long, flat, one inch it's thick, it's two two dimensional object for measuring measurement. Well, a ruler is somebody who represents everybody in the land. Dead. Are they big and important? Ah, medium size. Lots of hair. No, they're not big or important. They're the same as everybody else. Just a little higher profile. That's not as helpful, that's a little confusing also. <laughs> well, <laughs> yes, I am a show off. I'd be embarrassed to do it all by myself, so I hope you'll all be there to support me. Totally, yeah! I swear it sounded like the girl would be talking. Yeah. Okay. You just both sound like her. Lady Harriet! Show off. Lady Harriet! Lady Show off. <laughs> Lady Harriet! <laughs> Lady Harriet! She's not waving or nothing, she's just looking Maybe side to side. Flocking to her. They must really love her. I wouldn't quite call it love. Prime Minister Lutz. Lutz. That is, the former king. Burdened the people considerably to maintain our national prestige. The people are excited to be liberated from those burdens. And they have high hopes for the next regime, as I see it. That and... I've often snuck out into town since I was a young girl. So people tend to know my face. They know my character as a politician. It is a relief to them. It's quite, uh... Normal, apparently, from every anime I've seen that deals with this timeline. For the princess to sneak out. That is why they support me. And why I must live up to their expectations. Peach Boy is the most recent one. It's it's, it's kind of trash. <laughs> That's all right. Now if they would, it's to go completely off topic. They're doing like not even the Haruhi uh, way of showing episodes. They're just not showing them in order, with no real rhyme or reason. So this wait till the end. Step towards restoring our kingdom. Making the people happy is a king's most basic duty. And while I work to earn the trust people place in me, I have more duties besides. Luther and I still have a goal. To seal away Ephemera for good. It's a tall order though, because you not only got to seal away just within their land, but also the other three lands that are also utilizing Ephemera are also the... Lambda Grinder. You know, it'll be cool if you can unlock outfits. With Harriet taking on the role of ruler of the magical kingdom of Coento, the land was once again on the road to peace. But Harriet's objective was more than simply sitting upon the throne. The newly reborn Coento was mobilizing with the intent of eradicating Ephemera, the insidious flower eroding the world. Let us begin by reviewing the status of our neighboring lands. Varuna, if you would, please. 
our continent is split into four separate cardinal nations. To the east lies the Trade Federation of Ys Artea. Built by merchants, it leverages its rich soil and abundant resources to do business. Lucky. Their sorcery specialty is replication. They harness the power of ephemera to reproduce things in large quantities. It seems harmless enough at face value, but if ephemera is involved, there's almost certain to be a catch. To the west lies the divine land of Epic. Built around an oasis, seekers of enlightenment gather there to undergo rigorous ascetic training. Rumor has it that in Epic, they've perfected a means of refining mind control potions. It's on him. Using ephemera, of course. To the north lies the Wayland Empire. It's a nation of warriors that crowned their strongest citizens emperor for generations. Hmm. It's a land of savagery where might makes right. They've devised a means of body enhancement called demonization. Oh. In the south is our nation, the magical kingdom of Kuendo. We live in harmony with nature and find practical applications for mana. We have an island? Our land focuses strictly on studies of the arcane. The Castrum Demonica I developed started out as Quinto's specialty. Of course, someone leaked the art of summoning Castrums to other lands. So now, all nations field them in battle. The Castrum Demonicas within Quinto are on their way out, thanks to the efforts of our esteemed guardian. I'm so tired. However, the Castrum Demonicas of other lands remain standing, physically demarcating their borders. The Castrum Demonicas of each land are in a standoff with one another, putting a hard stop to most international relations. Ergo, we have no way of knowing what the reality is on the ground of any other nation. If anyone tried to cross a border without permission, the Castrum Demonicas would activate and mobilize to exterminate the intruders. Huh. Not that anyone would be stupid enough to try, anyway. I have a report. A Castrum Demonica on the Wayland border has activated. Someone appears to have approached. Well, what do you know? I stand corrected. It could be an envoy from Wayland. Let us make haste to the border. Yes, let's take our queen out to the border. and their entourage received a report of a Castrum Demonica activation and made for a Quento Wayland border. At that point in time, only a single figure stood against the Castrum Demonica on the border. One figure alone, a solitary warrior who fought ceaselessly, waiting for the clock to strike the appointed hour. You're right in the eyes. <laughs> Jeez. Quento is just past here. I can't give up now. You can go around it. Is my power simply not enough? Why was there no lines? Oh, now he's... Where's all my words at? Talk later, stand down. Now he's a, a hero subclass? Oh, it makes sense for him to be a hero subclass because I wanted to really push that. My apologies and thank you.
So you know if you just waited, I could have deleted I Oh! I don't have to fight it? I don't have to fight the castle? It's ridiculous. That's about what I always do anyways. You fell the castrum demonica. You must be the legendary savior. Uh, pardon me. The guardian. Those four guys, they have to run the hallway. You know of them? The name of the guardian, savior of Quento, is not unknown in Wayland. Allow me to thank you again. Melfoncina. Melfoncina. I should have recognized that. You know, Melfoncina. she's only from the first freaking episode. Why do we have a psychic link? Citizen of Wayland to such folly as standing alone against a Castrum Demonica to come here. Why would Harriet go to the border? Quento in search of the Guardian, the savior hero. Please deliver Wayland from the doom that it courts. I'm still dealing with uh, Quento's problems. Well, jeez, it's freaking get him, Holt. <laughs> Favorite way to kill a dog? There's more. If they get past us, the children. Pathetic. But the children. Screw retreating. Remember what's behind us, you bunch of pansies. Ah! Flowers. You're right. We were already doomed. So don't start fearing for your lives now. Let's at least take some of them with us. I'll do it myself. Should I switch to hero? Talk about arriving in the nick of time. Good thing we rushed straight here. Cena, who are they? Easy there, get them Holt. They're on our side. Get them Holt. I <laughs> just hit the little third. Did you hear that? His name's Get em Holt. Ridiculous. Gwinner. Went. Does something about his name bother you? <laughs> nope, that was his regular sword. So he's just switching between hero and hunter. Can I switch? <laughs> I think I'll do this until I get more story. The Demonica is about to begin. We've confirmed deployment of the Arcs Demonica and anticipate a fierce battle. Summon Buster Rams, destroy barriers, and destroy the Castrum Demonica upon interception. Good luck. I'll keep my fingers crossed for It'd be you. nice if I could have, you know, some people there with me, like uh, Mel Fusina and a Ghetto Vault.
random NPC. Cowardly NPC. And melee attack increase. Wonderful. I'm losing time here. Let me move. Running all over the freaking place. I think even shooting. Phase in that stuff still spawns in. Supposed to be collecting mana here, you keep bringing in enemies. Kill him! Yeah. 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 Not enough. Close, but not enough.
My god, I got stuck on the gun. They lower my health. What am I missing? I lost like a thousand HP. Ah, I was 20 points away from uh, another level. What am my HP doing? Where did all my health go? Where did all my HP and my, <laughs> my photon points go? I didn't. I didn't think nothing of it because it's still higher than the HP I have in New Genesis. I still have everything set up. Is it always like that when it scales? Level 20. Now I have to go back to the tape and see what's going on.
Nostrum Demonica's in Wayland territory as well. Luther was right. They're all over the world. Oh, yeah. Hey, Xenon. Who are these noobs? That word exists here. Burn. I don't remember asking for it. He wanted to die a glorious death. Get him, Holt. Oh, I'm sorry about this. He gets so hung up on posturing. Like a, like a poser. This country's called Wayland, right? What's going on here? He's got a whole fox around his neck. <laughs> what? The fight wasn't enough of a tip-off? We're at war, girly. I'm a fairy. At war? With whom? Says Zira. Everyone and no one. Everybody around us is an enemy. Duh. You're not very, uh... Death to good the in weak, communication. Life to the strong. That's how things work here in Wayland. Oh yeah, this is the country to the north. If you want to know what's going on in our country, how about you come with me? No. Like a very, very uh, desolate place. I like how, you know, they talk about strong, strength and stuff, but yet the people that he was fighting with wanted to run away or cry. I wouldn't even call it that. It's just a gathering point for survivors. Hey, get him home! Thanks for earlier! No punk. Whatever. You were pissing yourself earlier. Thank you. Do me a favor and drop dead. We'll have fewer mouths to feed that way. <laughs> You're a real smooth talker, get him. <laughs> like you just heard, we ain't even got enough rations to get through tomorrow. It's this bad all over Wayland. Hey, get him, Holt. Can't believe you're still alive. And I can't believe you're still mouthing off, brat. Would it kill you to show me some gratitude for protecting your ass? Hey, which I never asked for your protection anyway. Oh, dang, he's got you there, obstinate lad. Now, who does this remind you of? Calvin? Hey, don't give me that look. I was just pointing out a fact. Enough on Cena. Sad, Dad isn't back. He went out with everybody else. Yeah, he's a little punk and he got eaten. Your father has gone very far away for the good of everybody here. It's okay, Melfoncina. I know how this works. He's not coming back, is he? I'm sorry. Hey, don't cry. I'm in the same boat. Look, I'll grow big and super strong and slay the emperor. Slay the emperor. <laughs> Who's the emperor gonna be? Eratron? Can't be. That's a different universe. This is all stuff that happened in this universe. We want to protect them, but Castrum Demonicas are implacable foes, and our casualties keep rising. We should be okay for the time being with the nearest Castrum Demonica destroyed, but they're gonna make grabby hands again eventually. <laughs> grabby hands. Often the emperor. I'll destroy the Castrums and Fiend Troopers, pound that godforsaken Emperor into mush, and put an end to this lousy country for good. Burn it all down. You might be thrown off by his violent language and compensation, but what he means to say is that he wants to bring peace to the land. You've been in a prolonged civil war, right? Has anyone else tried to overthrow the Emperor? Oh, certainly. And the current emperor has slain every last one of them. Who is the emperor to be so strong? He became the emperor by being stronger than anyone else. Now all he wants is conflict against the strong. 
Nothing else matters to him. Whether the people suffer or the nation falls in the process is of no consequence. He's just starting fights over and over again. Why would he do something so pointless? I mean, honestly, it sounds like Get Him Hulk, but he's right there in front of me. You're right about that. He has to be stopped, regardless of anything else. So if you had to put episode 5 into a short description, what would you put it as? He'll go to another universe and kill... Go to a world in a black hole and kill everyone. There we go. Jeez. Plus, there's no question at this point that the influence of ephemera, more specifically F-factors, is present in this land. It's Ark's duty to deal with Fallspawn. We'll rise to the Arx's. occasion. What does the S stand for? Service? Ha! Ah, spreading our influence. Empire's imperial capital, Emperor Shreger and his Shreger? Stood by I don't know who that is. I just thought the name was cool. Tidings from the field of Castrum Demonica's corruption. The only one I know about that sounds familiar is, is Schroeder, that goofball from uh, Lakers. I'm sure, I'm sure this is from Fantasy Star. Schrager, why not? The hell is my mouse cursor at? Is my mouse even working? No. <laughs> the hell? Looks like we finally got someone who can crush a Castrum Demonica, a brother. <laughs> Spreading rumors has paid off. Now the ignorant masses will rally under a nice, friendly banner. There's been a lull in Castrum Demonica and fiend trooper skirmishes as of late anyway. I hope this serves to get your blood flowing. Ah, uh, damn it. He's like the, uh, the, the the guy in charge of the school. Uh, Blue Exorcist from Blue Exorcist. How strong is this so-called guardian? I can sneeze and blow up your castle. Now, now, dear brother. You can't just wolf them down right off the bat. Give them a little free-range roaming if you really want those flavors to develop. <laughs> the hell? <laughs> you think you can tell an emperor what to do? You're getting arrogant. It's more like his, like his, like his, like he's the dad. Or maybe that's just no pure hatefulness shining evil. off in his face. In that case, I think I'll pop in and say hello. I have a pair of those pants. <laughs> Guardian, just how powerful are you? I eagerly await the thrill of our inevitable clash. May war spread far and wide. The land, the people, ephemera. Everything in this world is an offering to us. No cynical laughter. 25. All right. I guess I'll end it right there then for, for this delightful story. 20 star gem Oh, good, because it's a fight. So those usually take forever. Conflicts. I guess I'll get back to the story in um, Monday. Let me see what that email says.
20 to the 1st. Monday to the 1st. Or Sunday. Yeah, Monday. Because uh, the Halo Infinite technical preview is tomorrow till Sunday. <laughs> mm, my toy. Harriet's older brother's. Oh, not saying anything new. See you later. Hello there. See, look at my health. I wonder what's all that about. Okay, new here. Welcome to our shop. I rarely do anything in this game anymore. Phantasms would have been great! I'm here if you need me. There's something I can help you with. I don't remember Kuna having a fight with Luther. Nothing new. Zeno. Zeno hates Luther. Oh, hey. Can't exactly say much. It means they've been resolved. I'll probably go. Take care. All right. They show the price of solid barriers, but it's not like they even that great. Uh, soul on an eight slot oh but there's one on a four slot because you can transfer it but i mean even if you transfer what does it matter it's not worth it three slots really Botron is worth it. guardian soul is not worth it if you don't have anything else to back it up with augment guidance come on A little better. Oh, recycle badges are fairly cheap. There is no AC uh, exchange shop, though. I don't even know what I'm looking for. Which quest are you up for? It's kind of sad how the daily orders girl is only over here. I've been expecting you. Have they even done any arcs leagues this whole time? Don't mind me, just traveling to the future. Stop giving me eggs. I don't have space for this stuff. Thank you. 
Oh, good, it loaded. Last time I tried to get into the game, it wouldn't. Which is black screen. Black screen. Somebody put a picture and just put an outline program on it. I hate it. Talking about the uh, first anniversary. Global art. I don't even remember, I don't even know of any, any emotes that I would want. It's kind of rough for 15, 15, for $30 you can get a guaranteed item. $30. This should have made it. <laughs> I should have made it uh, 10 for $10. Yeah. What is this guy doing up here? This thing, try night. Honestly, don't feel like doing any dailies. I, that's, I, that's what I mentioned to people over in uh, on Reddit. It's like it's not even, it doesn't even feel like it's worth doing dailies anymore. It's a forest. This is not. It's not. The only reason I even play anymore is just to level up these classes. Braver comes out on the third, so that kind of that kind of stinks. Just for the simple fact that it's another class, I still have to have to do. I mean, don't really need to, but. They're already doing a burst, and it doesn't even count for me. Couldn't have teleported me closer.
I feel like this game is less likely to add really nice uh, collabs like the previous game did. I don't feel like there's any way a monster in a collab would be in here. It would be nice if they had a Monster Hunter World collab. I'm a, I, I just like uh, the Monster Hunter that's on the Switch. Because it just basically... What happened was uh, they made Monster Hunter World for the PS4 and Xbox. But the whole purpose of that game was just to make it for the Switch. Like, why didn't they, they also release that game on the Switch? Or, why didn't they release the Switch version? Next song. I like this guy because of the way he dances. This is going to be our third one since we hit a burst, and yet, there you go. I was going to say is that we didn't get one little notch yet in the bar. Data lacks. Good man. Yeah. 
Dead. I mean, like, the whole forest is full of enemy presence. Another Daedalex. Stupid camera. Oh, he's not moving. Cool. And that didn't give us another bar. Really? Really? I hate those guys. Those round guys that bounce around and roll on the ground. And you can only hit them in one spot. It took forever to get one bar and it went down. And we lost another one. Come on. That's terrible. We lost all our freaking bars. Why? Yeah. 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 Oh, glow rocks. That's what I hate. And we lost our BSC burst again. Again!
Why does the rare drop symbol look like it's stretched out? Chua, Holloman. is the hair of a certain type of protagonist. Yeah. Start attacking something and trigger pops up. Another Daedalax! A double trigger? He's watching me. He's not watching me anymore. some fruits and call it a day. I like I like that they put a uh, marker things that you might need to get it doesn't work for the uh, red boxes unfortunately but mm, is that the same tree Look at that, the damn ceremony rappers.
There's only four. There's, there's no reason for me to even bother getting points anymore. I mean, seriously. I just realized I'm not looking for food because <laughs> I had the ceremony wrap I need one more piece of delicious, tasty, mouth-watering fruit. Where, where am I gonna find such a thing? There it is. I guess I have to go in there since I'm here now. It's just not the same, you know? The harvesting. I almost feel like I enjoyed the harvesting spots more due to the minimal amount of stamina they gave you. But I like it. You know, it's not so bad here on my monitor because my monitor's trash. But on my TV in the living room? Oh my god! That's so bright and blinding. Good guy, how have you been? I'll be honest, I swear I thought I disabled it. I don't know, man. <laughs> I kind of like it. Ah, oh, see, it looks so dull now. Now, if you know any way to get the graphics to look like uh, classic PSO2, when I'm in PSO2, I'd like to hear it. It may cause blindness. <laughs> That's funny. I'm done here. No moon. Oh, look, how nice of him to just stand right there.
goddess of the wind. I like the way my UI is sized. That's why it's sized this way. Welcome. You tried to have me set my UI last time too. Before I switched over. But you don't give any example as to why. Everything is just so cheap to sell. No, it's sent to large or something. I don't know what it is set to. I haven't set it for since they did the last major update because I had to redo the last major update. Drop in again sometime. Hey! hey. What are my eyes? Two hundred thousand, almost done. Momo Banny. Normal. 4K mil. I think that's wrong. I think it's supposed to be small. I don't know. Every time I set it, I gotta, I gotta keep moving windows around. That doesn't look so bad right now. Oh, because it says mobile. That's dumb. Who goes to a mobile site of Twitch? I think it all depends on your preference, honestly. Because uh, depending on how it is, how it looks on your screen, depending on how far you are from the screen, some of these options, the windows tend to overlap. Probably why I had it set the middle, and I know I and I and I switched. I moved them because I had it set up just right, and then they had this big update, uh, the, the the anniversary update, and I had to move them around. But that's gonna be it for me today because it's five o'clock. Red guy, thank you for stopping by. I'll take your 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 suggestions into consideration because uh, I'll look at the menus later. Have yourselves a good one. I'll be back tomorrow uh, with Halo. Halo Technical Preview.